Welcome to Sir Wins Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa lecture number 10, Share Split. Actually, ang link o ang mismong file ng problem na sasagutan natin today ay nasa description ng video lecture na ito. At ang advice namin ay sagutan mo muna ng solo ang nasabing problem at bumalik ka kapag tapos ka na to confirm kung tama ang pagkakaintindi mo sa lesson at kung tama rin ang sagot mo. Okay? Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin ang pagbibigay ng solution sa problem under discussion. So again, lecture number 10, share split. Here is the problem. On January 1, 2021, records of Wendell Corporation show the following balances. Ordinary share? 5 peso par, 200,000 shares authorized, 20,000 shares issued, 15,000 shares outstanding, 100,000. Share premium, 20,000. Retained earnings, 150,000. Treasury shares, 5,000 shares at 12 peso cost, negative 60,000. So therefore, the total shareholders equity is at 210,000. So on March 11, 2021, the board of directors declared a 2 for 1 share split when the market price of the share was 25. Oh, this is the requirement. Prepare the entries to record the share split. Pero bago natin sagutan, ano nga ba muna ang nangyayari kung sakaling merong share split? Hindi ba parang kinukuha ng corporation lahat ng shares na ibinigay niya at kanyang kinakansel para palitan ng bago? At ang share split ay may dalawang klase. Split up at split down. Na generally, na basically nga, split up ang nangyayari. In a sense na, yung number of shares ay dumadami with a corresponding reduction or decrease ng kanyang par value. So therefore, yung effect sa total shareholders equity ay the same. Kasi nga, parang pinalitan mo lang naman, pinataas or pinababa mo lang yung kanyang par value per share with the corresponding changes dun nga sa number of shares. So therefore, when we go back with the question, prepare the entries, actually, there is no journal entries. Kasi nga, wala namang effect sa financial ano, uh, elements, o, sa elements of financial statements. Kasi nagpalit lang eh, total shareholders equity remains unchanged. Therefore, we have to make a memo entry whenever there is a share split. Ngayon, papano gumawa ng memo entry patungkol nga sa share split? Simple lang, gagawa lang po tayo ng paragraph. In this particular problem, we have to write issued, let's say, 40,000 new shares with a par value of 2.50 pesos as a result of 2 for 1 share split of 20,000 old shares with par value of 5 pesos. Okay, that will be the memo entry answering number 1. Okay, when we try to analyze, bakit po 40,000 new shares? Kasi nga, ang inisyo mo dito ay 20,000 shares. The fact na nagkaroon ka ng 2 for 1, at ito po ay split up kasi walang sinabi, yung 20,000 will be multiplied by 2. Kaya siya naging 40,000. So again, ang effect po niya dun sa par value niya ay decrease naman kabaligtaran. Kaya yung dating 5 pesos, naging na lang 2.50. Parang kinikwento mo lang na yun yung naging epekto nung in-split mo yung dating 20,000 na naging 40,000 na nga at yung dating 5 pesos na naging 2.50 na nga. Actually, that ends the discussion about 
share split. You have just to make a memorandum entry. Pero siyempre, again and again, bukod po sa issued share, okay, nag split din lahat ng klase ng shares. Katulad ditong authorized, katulad ditong treasury shares. At kahit yung outstanding, okay? So, ang punto lang, ito po yung ating parang ipinapaliwanag dito. Pwede ka pang magdagdag ng mga statement, pero ang punto, wala nga pong journal entry na nangyayari. But rather, memo entry lang kung ano yung naging epekto ng, ng share split. Now, We have the second transaction. Okay? We read. Assuming that the entity declare a 1 for 2 reverse split, what will be the entries to record the split down? In this particular case, split down po siya or reverse split. Bakit po? Dahil ba naka-state ng 1 for 2? Hindi, hindi naman. Kahit state ng 1 for 2 or 2 for 1, automatically ang assumption dyan ay split up. Okay? Nagilang siyang split down or reverse split for one basic reason. Kasi sinabi, reverse split. Kasi sinabi, split down. Kailangan sabihin para gawin po yun. So katulad nung kanina, okay, katulad nung number one, ano po ang epekto ng, or ano ang entry para sa split down? The answer is very simple. Hindi mo rin kailangan gumawa ng, ng journal entry, but rather, memo entry lang. Okay? By stating what happens. Okay? So therefore, I write, issued, Issued 10,000 new shares with a par value of 10 peso as a result of 142 reverse split. of 20,000 old shares with par value of 5 peso. So, yun na po ang magiging entry kung sakaling merong split down. You just have to make a memorandum entry. Pero at the end of the day, same pa din naman yung naging epekto po. Ano, di ba? So, kumbaga ay, when you multiply 10,000 times 10, the new par value, the answer will still be 100,000. At kahit dun sa kanina, 40,000 times 250, the answer would be 100,000 pa rin. Kaya nga, walang entry sa share split. So, I believe, uh, na-discuss na po dito lahat-lahat ng patungkol sa, sa share split. At sana ay meron kang natutunan next time ulit.